Let's now talk more about the deteriorating security situation in Yemen. We're joined by Abdul Rahman Bafadil. He's a Yemeni opposition leader, also a member of the country's parliament and the head of the caucus for Islamic Party. He joins us here in the studio. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks uh, for you. As I said, a, de a deteriorating security situation in your country in the last few days. We're hearing a street battles in Sanaf, uh, uh, protesters being shot at in ties. Uh, what are your contacts telling you? Are, are we nearing the end of this crisis in your opinion i'm afraid no because the president is insisting to draw the whole country towards war uh, the protesters in millions in the fields for more than three months asking him to step down he refused and he found himself in failure to meet their demands mm -hmm. so he tries to transfer the world opinion from those protesters the millions asking him to step down to military uh, war. Mm. But Ali Abdullah Saleh has also said that if he were to step down now, that that would lead Yemen into a civil war. He's basically brandishing the threat of uh, Islamists taking over and so on. And we have seen uh, some Islamist groups indeed taking advantage of the current situation. Is Yemen heading to a civil war, in your opinion? Uh, no. If he stays, civil war will surely take place. What if he if goes? If he leaves... The country will be calm because those millions are seeking civil uh, regime. They are seeking parliamentary system. They are seeking decentralization for government. They are seeking, seeking independent uh, justice, judicial, mm. because this man has everything in his hand. Mm. He is so the... What do you think is still keeping him in power today? Is it the Saudi support? And I don't know that. I am <laughs> asking the brothers and the friends, you know. And I think for the timing, he talks too much that... King Abdullah with me, America with me, he said. These two, he addressed his party. He said, we have two with us. King Abdullah with us and America with us. Mm. America for fighting terrorism. But in reality, terrorism, we are all against terrorism. Not him. He is creating terrorism. Because okay. this is happening so, in Abiyan or Shabwa. This is manipulated by him. Those people go from the palace and they come back to the palace to eat with him. All right. Is there, uh, you're a member of the opposition, of course. Now, yes. is there a post-Abdallah uh, plan, a post-Saleh plan? Do you have a plan in place as if President Saleh were to take, were indeed to heed these calls and step down? What's, what's the plan? Oh, we have a big plan. If you will give me time for half an hour, I will explain the new regime. <laughs> we don't have half an hour, unfortunately. You just have to say but it in one But really, yani, this man is creating a big mess in the country. He is military, 33 years. He destroyed everything in the country. But is the opposition united in how to move forward? The opposition will move together with all panorama of Yemen. We cannot including the tribal, tribal any, any leaders, faction. Including all the tribal leaders. Together. In the, within the framework of democracy, unity, we will move together and the ballot box will govern all. Everybody will take his share of the cake through the ballot boxes okay. in a decent election. Not like him. He has the box in his hand. You vote for Muhammad, it comes Ali. So he changes everything in this box. He's a okay. magic box of election. Thank you very much for speaking to us. Abdul Rahman Bafaldil, head of the Caucus Isla Party and a member of Yemen's parliament joining, here, joining us here in the studio. Thanks for your time. Thanks for you.